Sarah Sargent. I'm back today with another video. We are going to be focusing on ColourPop's new It's My Pleasure palette. This is a gorgeous purple palette. Today we are celebrating the Oscars. So if you guys want to know who I'm rooting for and what my Oscar predictions are, then just keep watching. Let me show you the inside of this because this is a really gorgeous palette. That is what the inside looks like. So lots of purples, pinks, plums, an absolutely gorgeous color. I'm really loving these shimmery colors in here. Let me swatch these for you guys really quickly. I think I'm gonna do Dew or Doe, um, Earthshine, and Mr. Sandman. Let me just show you guys these. I I swatched these and I just couldn't I couldn't believe it. You guys see that? Can you see the iridescence on that? That is so gorgeous. So I can't wait to get these on my eyes because they just look stunning. For a transition shade today, I am going to use this color right here called Kitten Fish. And this to me just looks like a cool toned pink, like a baby pink. And I am using my fluffy brush today. And you guys know the drill. I'm just going to be sweeping that in my crease. So today's look is inspired by the Oscars. I did a video last year on the Oscars. If you guys want to check that out, I will go ahead and pop a card up above if you want to click on that and watch last year's look. Um, this year's look is a little bit more like boho, colorful. Last year's look was um, more of like a classic Hollywood look. So feel free to check that out. Okay, the Oscars. I love them. I have been obsessed since I was a kid. I don't want to say like the exact same thing in this video as I did in last year's Oscar video, but I freaking love the Oscars. What can I say? I don't know if you guys are a fan, but to me it's like it's like a sport. It's like Super Bowl for me. I joke that it is the only holiday that I even celebrate. Um, because I, oh my god, I just love it. I love the fashion, I love rooting for my favorite people that I want to win. It's like an all day event for me. Alright, next I'm going to go up with this color right here called Fan Fiction, and this is going to be a warmer toned pink, a little bit darker than the one that I just popped on. I'm just going to use my flat brush, just going to pack this onto my eyelid, and then blend it up into the other color that I have out. So let's talk Oscar predictions. I am really, really rooting for all categories Bohemian Rhapsody. You guys have not seen this movie. You should definitely run out and see it like now. It's available for streaming. It's available for purchase. It's available across all forms. Please pause this video, go watch the movie. Literally, it's that good. I'm a massive Queen fan, so I had really high hopes, really high expectations for this movie. I did not want them to screw it up. And I was so pleased coming out of the movie theater. Not only did they not screw it up, they freaking nailed it. And Rami Malek, he just became Freddie Mercury. It's so crazy, like, man his performance in it. If you guys have seen, then you know what I'm talking about. He really just became Freddie Mercury. I felt like 15 minutes into the movie, it wasn't even like I was watching actors anymore. It was like I was watching Queen. And the casting for this film, the other band members, I cannot believe how close they look to the actual guys. Like, Brian May, the actor that plays Brian May, how was that not actually Brian May on screen? I, I'm just, oh, I love the movie so much. I've seen it a few times now and I love it. I saw it on opening day in the theater right down the street from my house and then a week later I was in London and I was lucky enough to see it on the big, the big IMAX screen, like right in the middle of London. So that was just, that was amazing. Um, I was, 
I was like pinching myself the whole time. Like a week after it had been out, I went and saw it in London. Like so amazing. So, um, and then of course I bought it when it came out and I've, I've watched it again. So yeah, definitely rooting for Bohemian Rhapsody. All right, next up I am going to use this color right here, Sleeper. This is a burgundy grape color and I am just going to be placing this in my inter, my inter, my inner <laughs> and outer crease and uh, blending that through, sort of like a halo eye. Predictable, right? I know. So if Bohemian Rhapsody wins best actor and best picture among everything else, whatever else happens tomorrow, I will be happy as long as those two things happen. With that being said, the other category that I am rooting heavily for is A Star is Born. Lady Gaga to me can like do no wrong. I adore her. And so I'm pretty sure she will win for best song. At least I'm hoping that she does because Shallow is just like the most beautiful song. It's, I mean, it's one of my favorite songs that she's done and it's just, it's just so beautiful. So I really hope that she wins for that. And I definitely see her winning for that also. The category that I'm rooting for that I think could be a little tough is uh, Lady Gaga for Best Actress. Now, just for selfish reasons, I hope that she wins. Like, bad. I really hope that she wins. Do I think that she's gonna win? I don't know. I think it's a slim chance. I think she's definitely the dark horse. Glenn Close has been winning all of the other award ceremonies that have been happening. She's kind of taken, I think every single major award ceremony, Glenn Close has taken it. So I think that that is probably what's going to happen tomorrow. But I'm crossing my fingers for Gaga because that would just be such a magical moment. I mean, I think Gaga's gonna win for the song, so I think she's gonna walk away with an Oscar no matter what, but I would just be so happy if she won Best Actress. That'd be amazing. What do you guys think? Let me know down below who you guys are rooting for. If anybody, do you even care about the Oscars? I know a lot of people don't. So I won't hold it against you if you're like, I do not care about the Oscars at all. Stop talking about the Oscars. I understand, I get it. But I love it. All right, next to my lower lashes, I'm gonna use this Marc Jacobs pencil in the color Jazzberry, and I'm going to put this in my waterline and smudge it out into my lashes. I wanna pop the color Dew or Doe into my lower lash line over the top of that liner that I just put down. And this is just the most beautiful, sparkly, iridescent purple color. Wow. Yep, I love that. Oh my gosh. So pretty. Okay, I am loving this color. This is so gorgeous. Next I'm going in with probably the most stunning color in the entire palette, which is the center one called Earthshine. This has a little bit of everything going on in it. I mean, it's like a champagne pink color, but it has a ton of shift in it. So it goes from like this icy blue to pink to champagne, maybe violet. It's just so gorgeous. There is glitter in this. So as always, I am gonna pop down my Too Faced glitter glue just in the center of my eyelids and then pop that color on. All right, I'm taking my flat paddle brush and I'm just gonna be pressing this into the center of my lids. Wow, oh my gosh. Yep, that color is just amazing. It's so pretty. I mean, that's just one pass. I'm definitely gonna build this up a little bit more, but even just with that tiny little bit on my eyes, this color is just so pretty. I'd love to try it out with some different color combinations too. Like this over blue, I think would be really pretty. I think even this over mustard would be really interesting too. Future looks guys, future looks. 
All right guys, I went ahead and popped on some mascara and some lashes. Today I am wearing Morphe Rodeo lashes. They're just nice, like, separated, doll-like lashes. While my lashes are drying, I'm going to go ahead and do an inner corner highlight. So I think I'm going to go back in with this Earthshine color right here and just pop that on my inner corners because I'm in love with this color. It is so gorgeous. Now moving on to highlight for the rest of the face. I have been really loving these little ColourPop Jelly Munch shadows, I think is what they're called. Yeah, Jelly Munch. Um, oh, I'm so blonde. I just got that joke. Like, Jelly Munch? Yeah, okay. Anyways, um, all right, so I have a pink one here, like a pink iridescent one that's called Crystal Castle and one that is a blue lavender glitter that is called Hallucinogenius. Hallucinogenius. Wow. That is a name. Okay, so I'm going to go down with the pink one first, and I'm just going to use my fingers for this, just because of the consistency of it. I might just take it off the cap also. So I'm just going to get some product on my finger here, and I'm just going to tap that along my cheekbone and then blend it in. I think it just, this product just works better with a finger than it does with a brush. Okay, I think I might try using this with a brush and putting some of this as a brow bone highlight. I'm not really sure what's gonna happen with this. So I have like a really short flat paddle brush and I just wanna try going in Oh yeah, that's really pretty. Taking that right underneath my eyebrow on my brow bone. All right, so now I wanna go in with the other one and I just wanna place this over the top, just on the very highest point of my cheekbone, just to add a little something more. For lipstick today, I am going to be using ColourPop's Ultra Metallic Lip in the color Flitter. And this is just a peachy metallic. It has um, some, looks like gold and champagne, maybe some orange like sheen to it. It looks like it might be color shifting. Okay guys, that does it for the makeup look today featuring It's My Pleasure palette by ColourPop. This palette is so pretty. If you love purples, you should 100% get this palette. It is just gorgeous. The mattes blended out great. Everything was super pigmented. The shimmers in here are just so so beautiful. I would definitely recommend this. I think this is really great if you like the color purple. I hope that you guys have a really fun Oscars day. I know I'm going to. Um, definitely going to pop a bottle of champagne here in a minute and root for my favorites. I hope that your favorites win as well if there's anyone that you guys are rooting for. Unless you're rooting against Rami Malek, then boo! <laughs> Down with you. Don't forget, you can also follow me on Instagram at Sarah Sarge and pepper for more makeup and music and just my life in general if you'd like to check that out so until I see you guys in my next video I hope everyone has a great day and I'll see you guys next time bye